now if you want to write a computer program we can give you the computer algorithm to do the mix Simpson one-third and three-eighth rule either single segment or multiple segment and the idea is very simple first the user have to input the function f of x which we want to integrate the user have to integrate uh, input the lower upper limit a and b the user have to input n1 which is the number of segment to be used for simpson one-third rule now if the user input n1 equal to 2 that means he use the so-called single segment single segment one-third rule if he want to use n1 equal to 4 or 6 or 8 that means they want to use multiple segment Simpson one-third rule after that the user have to specify n2 which is the number of segment in conjunction with Simpson 3-8 rule again if n2 the user's input is 3 it just simply mean he want to use single segment single segment 3 8 rule but if he input a 6 or 9 or 12 that means he want to use multiple segment that means he want to use a so-called multiple segment okay step number two after input everything in step one we calculate the total number of segments which is equal to n1 plus n2 then we can calculate the, the step size or the width h and then after that we can calculate the value x0 x1 x2 blah 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 up to the last one which is x sub n notice the subscript n correspond to this n value right there that is step number two step number three if we have multiple Simpson one-third rule to start with then we can use this formula to calculate I1 as indicated in equation 19 pay attention this N1 in here represent the number of segments that you want to use for Simpson one-third rule again if N1 is equal to 2 that means you just use a single segment okay if you n1 equal to 4 or 6 or 8 that means multiple segment step number 4 we compute Simpson 38 rule multiple segment based on equation shown 17 equation 17 to calculate for I2 and then keep in mind again n2 represent the number of segment that you use for Simpson 38 rule if n2 equal to 3 that means you use a single segment and by the way if n2 if it is equal to 3 okay if equal to 3 if n2 is equal to 3 that means the term 2 times this summation will be ignore or skip and the reason is because you cannot go from i equal to 3 to 0 by the way if n2 is equal to 3 then n2 minus 3 is equal to 0 right and you cannot go from i equal to 3 to 0 with the increment of 3 and so that just simply mean for single segment Simpson 38 rule or n2 equal to 3 this term is not there in the formula but this term will be there in case you use multiple segments Simpson 38 rule for example n2 equal to 6 or 9 or 12 then this term will be there so you calculate i2 from there and then finally step 5 you add the summation of i1 plus i2 this i1 come from Simpson one-third rule and i2 come from Simpson 38 rule and that's the end of the lecture is the acknowledgement you can go to this website